native children live below the federal poverty level. On reservations, it's over 44 percent, with half of those living in what is defined as deep poverty. The nationwide native youth suicide rate is three times the national rate. Our needs today are profound. Native children face devastating poverty. Fewer than half of native young people graduating from high school and more than eight in ten eighth graders reading below the grade level. They have the shortest lifespan of all in America. All these problems push too many young people into failure, robbing them of full and worthwhile lives. Countless Indian boys and girls who stay on the right track thanks to mentoring programs offered through the Boys and Girls Club. Together with the Akimel Odom Peepaw Youth Council, Phoenix Youth, students from UWC, and a few dedicated adult advisors, the Bridge Youth Summit for Understanding was launched. Our hope is that together, we can build bridges which will get past stereotypes and self-segregation on both sides, enabling Native teens to feel more comfortable walking in both worlds, thereby breaking these cycles. This was an opportunity to uh, basically work with youth groups that are already set up on many of the reservations and create relationships and friendships that might help launch their, themselves into the world in a way that feels supported. Having peers facilitate this process was something that was unique and, and uh, I wasn't quite sure how it was going to go, but I was very pleased. We saw at the end of two days was an openness and a warmth and uh, a, a beginning of real relationships and we want to see that continue. The plan is to organize youth-driven events to bring together Native and non-Native teens. These events are easily replicated throughout the country. The Boys and Girls Club of America has excellent facilities ideal for events such as the bridge. Planning is time consuming, but with a strong group of youth volunteers and adult supervisors, it becomes an easy task. What is so great about the bridge is that it is 100% volunteer based and not for profit. It is our hope that the bridge becomes a nationwide effort and self-segregation no longer exists between our communities. Think about it. How many Native Americans do you know? How many reservations have you been on? This is not a Native American crisis. This is our crisis.